Hi everyone. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. How I how I doing? Hi, he's Valentina from Valentina Sugarland. <laughs> uh, uh, live on Saracino UK page in Facebook. I'm so sorry, guys, about the delay. We have some technical issues, and um, I hope you still <laughs> want to see me demoing. So now I will start the demo. I just <laughs> need to adjust a few things about my cameras, but um, I just wanted you um, to see me. <laughs> Here I am, uh, finally, <laughs> after uh, yeah, almost uh, 30 minutes late, but um, I hope you can um, forgive us uh, for the difficulties and enjoy the following demo. Um, today I'm going to uh, make some hair adorable dolls it's this one <laughs> so i hope you uh, learn some things um the demo we uh, decided because it's a very uh, hi tanya hi <laughs> um it's a very difficult uh, but not not difficult it's a very time consuming uh, demo we have um whole doll with body and, and head and hair and dress and everything so tonight i will be showing you the body and the dress and next week i will come back and show you the head so i hope it's okay with you and you can enjoy it um, so i'm so happy to see this that there are people watching so hi krinan hi uh sylvia <laughs> sylvia um so um just about me, I'm based in Bulgaria, I teach uh, modeling classes, I have a book uh, about modeling, Valentina Sugarland, also in English, um, and um, I teach uh, small and big uh, figurines, uh, sculpted cakes and um, yeah, stuff, uh, sweet stuff, <laughs> sweet things. Okay, um, I'm currently in Varna on the Black uh, Sea coast. It's a little late in here, it's 9.30 p.m. So please forgive me if I look tired and um, if I forgot, forgive my um, um, an English word sometimes. So <laughs> I hope you can hear me. So I will go on, I'm going to switch the camera so you can see the workplace. Um, and of course, um, after that, the demo, just like like this. Just let me adjust the things here. I have my, uh, sorry, I have here, I want to see me in here. So I can see the comments and I can answer your questions. So, okay, now I'm going to, hi, hi everyone. I'm going to adjust the camera in here. Um, so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay, I think this one is good like this and this is the doll we are going to make. Now you can see she's done a little time ago so now I can also leave her like lying in here, nothing, nothing will happen. So everyone, I'm just going to try a l one last time to, yeah, the comments. I want to see the comments in here so I can see who is watching and um, who is with me. So um, uh, when you start making, um, you have a project in your head and want to make something that you never done before. Um, that's almost always the case because we uh, all, all want to make new things and not repeat ourselves. So my the first thing I make is um, find the pictures of um, the thing that I want to make and print it in in the size of uh, what I make uh, I want to make it. So this 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 was my pictures and here I made the doll. It's like slightly different but um, you can get you, you can get the idea 
So the first thing first is to find yourself uh, pictures and um, print it in the size you want to make. Then uh, of course you have to prepare all your colors of the skin, of the clothes and um, I'm using Saracino Pasta Model. Uh, you can take white paste, modeling paste and um, just like this in white and just use use colors gel, gel colors to to color it and to, to get this this kind of shade of, of the skin and uh, the, the, the hair and everything um, another possibility is to use prepaid pre-colored paste like here's the hair uh, the, the skin color of Saracino modeling paste but um, this is a very um, light skin so you can add some brown modeling paste to achieve the, the shade that you want so everything you have to prepare first and then um, start with your project so I have here paste that I prepared a few weeks ago as I was making this one so I have enough uh, paste from the skin uh, blue is not not enough but I will be mixing it with some um, more white after so I will have enough but the first you have your paste and then um, you have to think um, when you make a standing figure um, you need some support you can see here like some uh, um, barbecue uh, screw I think um, and you can use them uh, with the food they are food safe so it's not, prob not a problem um, uh, to, to stick them afterwards in your cake um, I'm using while modeling some styrofoam so you can place your dough like this and make make it ready so okay um, that will I will need two sticks for for the legs we are starting with the legs and um, when you make a project for the first time you never know how much um, grams of, of the paste you will need but you can measure and um, see if it's enough or if you you need more or less so every, every time before making the shape you want it's important to um, to knit, knit the, 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 the paste so but I just want to adjust just a bit so we all can you all can see I think it now it's better. So, um, when when I work with the paste for the first, uh, uh, when I make a figure for the first time, I always have also like scale. It's like this is a gold scale, so you can measure one leg and um, then do the second one with the same weight. So, I um, have. Um, written down my my grams and measurements after the first time so now i know uh, how much i need but um, so you can see what how how i measure it um, just take a small amount and make slightly the shape of 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 the um, like like a carrot shape so you can go in here and see if it's enough or it's too thick or too long so approximately this this will be enough um, because we don't have the um, the feet the feet are in different columns for the shoes so like like I said this is about four I, I used the last time a little bit more because yeah a little bit okay I will take an, uh, just an, um, another amount in here 
that's like seven grams I used the first time here are six I think tonight it's enough let me see so like this okay we'll go this time with six six seven uh, grams um, for the legs for each legs six, seven grams like I said so you need this twice I'm going with six here. So you have. I'm just going to put it in here so you, I can work. Knit well. If you um, if your uh, paste is, it's, uh, if if it's very warm and if your paste is sticking on your finger, you can use a little bit of corn starch on your fingers so. okay. and make two carrot shapes like this each are six you can use always the pictures and just have a look just see if it's enough so here are my two sticks I'm just um, I'm having a um, brush with filled with water you can buy them in any art store for art materials so um, the, the tip is um, wet and you can um, just give a little bit of water on this part we will need, like here, to, uh, when we use um, a dummy um, styrofoam, we want to put the dough afterwards like this. So you can go and using a pen, a, um, a pen or something, just mark the the, the place. go and apply some water in here oh things are falling around me so now I'm going to insert through the, the, the leg starting on the thicker side of the carrot shape with um, some I'm, I'm pushing and um, just moving around the sticks so it's easier to go in so like this and you want to see that mark that we made so just push like this um after you first um Push through the bar, uh, through the through the leg. Please don't uh, go and um, try too hard to to shape it. Just leave it like this for a bit. And here the same. Just from the thicker sides. Push in and through the leg, all the way down. You want to see the this this mark and then adjust a little bit so the screw is in the middle of the leg not too hard move it not not too hard so like we have uh, two cards on the sticks <laughs> on the sticks so uh, next thing we will uh, make now is to, to find the middle and here I will start using some some tools, some modeling tools and um, press 
for the back side of the knee just press and then use your fingers uh, to shape and to soften the steams from from the um, tools now here for the knee you will make a U shape in ten intention intention oh my god so sorry guys uh, with this quarantine and no traveling around and meeting cakey people <laughs> I'm going to forget my English you know you know so much opportunity to speak English so just shaping around pushing a little bit up and then using your fingers to soften around just like this and now you you have like this here is the knee here is the back side of the knee we have the shape of the calf and he is very thin okay that's like like a basic shape of the leg for her it's it's enough i think it's we we don't have to go and make it with like all muscle and uh, anatomically correct because it's she's like a doll <laughs> she's doll you see no not like a doll she's a doll so now i'm going to take my dummy and just on the sl slightly angled slightly to the side I'll insert in my dummy okay you can see and the same with the second one find the, the middle on one side you push for the back of the knee soften with your hands with the fingers then on the front side the U shape U shape U U shape yeah not too much pressure just the shape and then soften with your fingers when uh, you're making um, legs and, and arms, you want to be symmetrical. So I always go and yeah, this was maybe too early to position there. So just just look if they are looking the same. Here I'm going to just reshape it a little bit. can see they are yeah they are looking good <laughs> so almost um, identical I would say almost so that that's uh, how you make the, uh, the legs um, and usually you can leave them a few, few minutes to dry before uh, make before put the body on them but we don't have to, the time to wait so we we have so like this just slightly going to the side like this okay like i said we don't have the time to let them dry hard and um when the, the amount of modeling paste is so small it's not such um, you don't need so much time to, to dry them um, hard but um, I will not wait um, I will go and make the body the, the, the body the upper body and um, there I need 15 grams of, of the color 15 14 yeah 
Okay, so we will yeah, go make 15. Yes. Make 15. And like I said, you need this. And then you want to go and make um, like a pear shape for the body. Smaller in, in one end, a little bit thicker on the other. Like this. Like this. Okay, this will be the body. And on the thicker side you go and use a bow tool for one side the bow side of the um cell pin this is a cell pin tool <laughs> sorry guys and just press on both sides a little indentation in indentation so this Okay, and this will be like a puzzle and you have to, to put it in here but in order to do this we have to shorten this, the, the sticks so you don't need them too long one side just maybe like the two centimeters like this other side a little bit longer so you have a little bit more support in the body like you can you can see this yeah you can you can make it like in here like this to be in order to be a little bit um, easier I use with another screw and just make the the beginning of the holes and then go and put it in here I'm so sorry guys here is like something happened to my screw and they are like oh my god like splitter like like things bad things make sure everything stick together you can use a little bit of water in here but right now um, it's very hot in here so the, the paste is um, rel relatively um, soft and is sticking to herself very easily but just like this and press down This looks already like a doll body, but um, we want um, the whole figure to be very strong and hold every part together. So I'm applying water on the joints here and just going with my tool over to join them really good um, usually um, you will put some clothes on and um, if it's not perfect nobody will see it but you can really make it perfect so if you want you can make figures almost make it <laughs> and um, there will be no problem with the seams and joints in here if you wonder my, my finger is very very pink I have a little 
accident incidental <laughs> with my paste with my gel color in here and that was just shortly before the demo so my fingers are still pink so like this make sure it's everything is so When this is ready, you want to go and adjust the body. Make sure it has the right height, like this. Okay. okay. And if you want, you, you can just pull small amount small amount of the upper side to make the neck just like this just press and you have later so just a small hole on the neck like this so just a moment I will be back in a second Sorry guys, I'm back. It's very, very hot in here <laughs> and um, I'm working under the uh, photographic lights, so, so it's a very, very, very hot. Just let me... So... Okay... Okay, good. So we have the body, um, the, the body so far. We will go and make now the um, the shoes. For the shoe, I used white because um, you can put like just some pink and some blue, and um, they don't look very. Very good. So for the shoe I used on um, each shoe two grams. It's a very small body <laughs> with the head, <laughs> but um, this this is the doll, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, so a small amount, like I said. Like I said, two grams of 1.9. <laughs> um, knead well and make them to a tiny beans. In you, you just go and roll the, the one side thinner, so that looks like a small bean, like this. Okay, and then. Um, I hope you can see well um, what I'm doing. 
Now you go and cut. Let me grab. Cut here. It's look like a tooth. Like this. Using some water. Just go and press and then close here. Oh, sorry. A little bit clumsy. It was a long day today. <laughs> Been a short night yesterday. So like I said, I'm sorry if if anything not perfect guys I um, try to remember every word <laughs> in English that I need so like this just go and make sure it's nice and smooth around and the second one just like this maybe water just go press Use some to join and smooth. Press a little bit down. We don't want them to be like oh, but a little bit curvy. So usually you will let like, let this dry like i said for a few minutes one hour or just keep going be extra careful not not to to hurt the body or to reshape it, reshape it so this is the body in the and now um, we will go and um, make her dress and um, afterwards we will make arms. So for the dress she has this beautiful blue dress on and like a blue, I mix some blue in here earlier but it's it's too, too little. I need, I need a little bit more because I will use um, also one part of it uh, for the hair and the hat so I will go and make it slightly um, brighter by adding some more white just go and And see here I have some blue. So if it's darker blue, so if it's uh, too uh, bright, I always can go and add some uh, blue, some more blue. Or just like I said, you use um, gel color, gel blue, and color the the white paste till you get the the shade you like. I think a little bit more blue will be good. We don't want it to be too 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 um, too soft, too bright. Like this. Some more, some more blue. Okay. I just want it solid color like this. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to make a dress. 
the dress. I'm taking a small amount. Just let me put my white in here with the lid so it stays fresh. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to um, use a rolling pin. not a solid color yet so just a few more needs a few more times needing it so I think now now should be good okay like this to our bodies like this it's a very thin one so now you can go and cut this one don't like them <laughs> and um, put in here You can measure um, the length of the um, dress, <laughs> of the dress, sorry, um, using some, yeah, like, like six or maybe five and a half centimeter, depending. That's more than enough. I will leave six and then see if there is a need to adjust like this. Just put this aside. you can now go use a little bit of water on the body so it sticks and um, I will try to have her like this so you can see what I'm doing go like this just leave her a little bit a few wider not too like I hope you can see it using some scissors now you can go and cut this one Just try to make it up. And now we go and 
and start cutting here, making it a, a, a line of a dress. A little bit difficult to reach from here but I can do it uh, I think we can take just a small amount more here go and adjust this size this side here side so I'm going to open a little bit more and use a cutter a knife a facto knife going to um, cut and take off so it look like um, chef uh, dress <laughs> she's a little chef dress uh, chef something sweet right now so now um we have the the opening here you can go with your tool as smooth and make it a little bit more soft looking like this so now she has this uh, big um, Oh my god, I, I forgot how they are called <laughs> the, the things there. So I'm making a few indentation to know later where to put them. Like this. And um, we, you can see what what is what happened. Why um, Hi everybody, can you see what I'm doing? Can you see well what is happening? Someone just wrote Do you cannot see it? Okay So Maybe No Hi everyone, can you let me know if you can see what I'm making here? Um, can you see the the indentations okay I hope it's good visible so okay I hope um, if you're having trouble trouble seeing um, the thing due to your internet connection and every uh, something else um, you can see it later on the website so we will not we will um, post it also on the searching website so for the uh, for, for the little knobs I think they are called just a small amount 
make a sausage. Start cutting the same sized pieces. Six so far, seven, eight. Like I said for the smaller pieces. Just a little bit of cornstarch. Make them to a balls. You can see also if they are the same. Just a little bit of water, take one, place in here, press place, press and all the way up. This. So now I saw here is not so beautiful. I'm just going to cut the excess in a straight line around the neck and take it away. So like this. And she has also hmm, not sure how it's called. <laughs> Um, color, I think color, let's go, little color around the neck, like this, the, the, for the color we will need um, a lot to cut a small piece. This. this is too long but I, I, I always um, adjust such uh, clothes on, on the body itself so it's like like um, approximately the, the piece I need and then I go and cut it here around just a little bit of water I hope you can see in this position like this and then press use scissors to cut the excess like this so it's not 
not too sticky. A little bit movement, a little bit up the edges. So, okay, this is her color. I think I hope it's called a color. So, okay, now um, we will need um, pink. No, I will um, make the pink. Um, but afterwards we will go and make the uh, arms as next and then yeah make the arms of the doll so like for the arms they are very very small like like the body is so tiny <laughs> um you can go and just Take about one and a half grams for each one. That's too much. Okay, maybe two. I think the, the second though is a little bit higher, the body. I like it even better than the first one. So we'll take two grams. I'm adjusting as we are going with this. Okay. And um, we start here also with with a slightly uh, curved shape like this. Okay, then um, we take measure from here. You can see it's so tiny, small the hands, the, the arms. Just maybe like a half centimeter from the the thinner end, just a little bit thinning between your fingers and here too, like this, and then press for the hands so they are thinner and flat compared to the uh, to the rest, like this. Oh, this this is so tiny. Just not sure what you can see or what you cannot see. So just let me make some. Okay. I am just waiting a bit for my um, iPad to, to catch up <laughs> with that what I'm making and what I'm seeing there because I think there is like like a tiny time difference from what I'm making right now and when I see it but just let me <laughs> look if it's better maybe like this okay I think this this is good one okay so we want to cut a small triangle for the thumb and the rest of the hand. This is what I wanted to show you in a close up. Like here, on the side, and here, like this. And then, I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's good. go and just slightly smooth the edges like this and 
just cut here in an angle So now um, just go and roll in the middle to make the elbow uh, a rear like this, like this, and um, I think the thumb here is a little bit bigger. Two options if you want the um, just let me adjust the, the scene here in um, this position in here the hand is like like away from the body and is holding something heavy so they only there need to be a support in this case you can use some toothpick um, to to put inside and support uh, uh, the um, the hand and this this heavy whisk or how, I don't know how it's called. Um, if you don't want to to hold anything, or uh, it's like in this case, it's without. It's up to you. If you want the figurine to be totally edible, um, you. I'm, I'm searching for some toothpicks, guys, so I can show you. Um, you can uh, put the arms uh, to the body, a, a little bit closer to the body, with not, not so much movement, uh, and um, don't need to use. You, you don't need to use any toothpicks or something for support. But um, if you want the support, like I said, you can always use uh, this. So, like I said, one of them will be holding the whisks, the heavy one. So I need to put the toothpick inside. A little bit of water. And just pressing. Try not to ruin the shape. So, just move the hand like this so you can have one end visible and this visible end will go later into the uh, the object that she's holding in, in, in her hand so it's like a little bit more support like this okay but uh, the shape is a little bit need reshaping so like this Now here you can just use the scissors to put this one inside. I think this is too long. some water here okay oh, I'm so sorry guys I now I see that it's too uh, too close just let me adjust it again maybe like this yeah it's better Good. 
this was maybe better the idea to put the collar after you put the hand the um, arms so no problem like this yeah I hope <laughs> you can see better. It's just you're welcome, um, Christine. I'm I'm seeing all the comments <laughs> a little bit late, guys. So sorry. Um, there's a, like a time difference from what I'm making and what my my I iPad is showing so just adjust here the upper arms it's not to be not to look too thick use something that's a little bit flat and press from like this yeah so like I said afterwards you can put here um, this object and she will be just holding it like this and for the other side like i said you don't need to use the the tooth uh, pick because we can it is so light it's how it's shapes it's when you you're making a little a bigger figurine then you will need more support but the small ones they are so light and they're holding the shape the paste is holding the shape so well so you don't need um, so much support in that case just make a small indent press press like this slightly to the side like this when it's standing the it's falling down and holding the position when I lay it like this it's always going to the back so I um, try not to move it too much floppy <laughs> so I am just trying to reshape and she's looking skinny and um, like a doll <laughs> so just yeah just reshaping a little bit okay so this is the position you can move I think the hand can can be like this holding the whisk to the front yeah so, so, so it's better yeah I like it okay so um, this is the basic shape of arms legs shoes you you, you see how how I cut the cloth the, the dress and um, now I'm going to put a few elements Hi Elsa, <laughs> thank you Christine, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'm going to put a few more details with the pink and the shoes. Oh. oh guys, we hit one hour already. Okay, like I said, it's a long demo. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to make it at once, but it's um, yeah really really late here in Bulgaria. So <laughs> um, I'm I'm like um, yeah was not um, I don't think that my English is going to improve uh, with the yeah the, the nights. Um, 
when the night is growing older and older and um, it's getting later and later my English is getting worse and worse <laughs> sorry guys for that um, so I'm just trying to make um, of the ball this one, this ball, so you need a long piece of um, paste, that's not good, but you can use something to measure, you just go and cut straight lines. I never mm, cut the phone this much and it's making such adorable noise. Sorry. So the, I have these stripes in here. Just trying to find them to cut them in shape. going to make to use this one turn it over apply water in the middle press press okay like this then we will need to to two pieces like this cutting the end like this okay so start assembling hmm, I think this is too long just going to Just put it in here. Just second one. I always try and um, try to incorporate. In to, to put some movement in balls and in, in clothes and in the hair so it's not too um, doesn't look too too, too dead <laughs> so like this the, the edges you can always use your fingers to, to just roll slightly the edge like this and then you take this one and oh we need the middle part of for, for it sorry guys so we will need a little small amount in here to bind it put it here and here so Just use your fingers to, to press. Like this. Okay. And put water in here. Sometimes when it's too much layer, you can just press down so it's not too thick in the end. So just, just put it in. Okay, and you 
is your tool to adjust that. To make it look like easy going, flowing down. Um, now um, we'll need the stri two stripes for, for the shoes because, because the shoes are like very white <laughs> and we need them to be white, pink and blue so uh, they are not so, so good these stripes so I need to roll them the wrong way guys Stick with me for the last few details um, and next time we will make the head and the whole figure assembling so like this okay we will need black to pointy So I'm going to put some water in here and starting from, oh, I, I just need one. The one is pink, the other is blue. Oh my God, I just, um, yeah, <laughs> it's late, you know, and I'm thinking I need two of them and I need just one of them. Sorry guys. So like starting in here. Not sure if you can see something. I start in here and then we go with this stripe. Spiral around like this. And then you come in here like this. Can you see what I'm doing? They are like I think to 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 tie. So I'm going to put another one in here. the same thing you can make with the other one in blue and um, yeah then um, we have the body so far just put here some stick to to hold this place and um, just let me switch the camera so you can see me again mm. so just let me 
me show you these angles. Hi, miss you, Elsa. Hi, I miss you too. <laughs> this is um, what we have done tonight. Here's the, the original one. And here is the body I have done in the demo. So, just let me show you my tired face. <laughs> so, guys, um, this was for tonight. I um, uh, will leave the body uh, to dry. Usually, you don't need so long. Um, you don't need a week or something. Just one day, it's, it's okay. But we will see each other next week with the second part of the demo. Um, then we will make uh, the head, the head of the hair adorable uh, doll. Uh, so I uh, hope you had fun tonight and learn new things. And um, hi Sandra, hi Shana, <laughs> um, and um, you enjoyed the demo. I'm so sorry guys for the late beginning and for my tiredness <laughs> like I said I'm in Bulgaria and here is like um, I'm not sure how late right now but very late um, and um, next time I promise I will be a little bit um, fitter <laughs> so um, this was everything from me guys have a wonderful night uh, and i see you next week bye bye